There's one more option you can use, CoAP. CoAP is a little like REST, but it's pared down to be as light as MQTT. Like REST, it has get, put, post, and delete to URLs, but unlike REST, it has a very light and simple packet structure, and it's designed to be as minimal as possible, with binary data representation for commands and data whenever possible. MQTT uses the idea of a session or continuous connection, whereas CoAP, like REST, is sessionless. Data is sent and requested at any time. That means you could run CoAP on a transport like UDP, SMS, packet radio, or satellite where it's hard to get immediate responses. Like REST, a CoAP server doesn't manage many client message routing. Each client connects the server and sends request data. But like MQTT, the client can become an observer to get frequent asynchronous updates to a topic of interest. And in that way, it's not polling like traditional REST. Now, about that stateless connectivity. On the internet, CoAP usually uses UDP, but that can be a problem with firewalls. They often block individual random packets over UDP, and they only permit outgoing TCP connections. Now, you can run CoAP over TCP, but it isn't as common, and you sort of lose the benefit of having stateless UDP. This is most relevant when running on cellular and Wi-Fi, where you've got a direct internet connection. Another downside is that since each message is standalone, you cannot have any packet fragmentation. Each message must fit into a single Zigbee, UDP, Sigfox, etc. packet. The biggest benefit to co-op is it's similar enough to REST that you can use it to easily transfer data between a web application and your IoT device. Because in theory, they're supposed to be interoperable. And there's more stuff built into the co-op protocol for data formatting and resource querying. But we don't see co-op used very often, so it's hard to say if people are really taking advantage of this protocol. For all these reasons, MQTT has become one of the most popular, if not the most popular, choice for protocols for IoT, followed by REST and then finally CoAP.